Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Busy, busy day. Oh my goodness. So uh, today we got a show tonight called She Said, He Said. Today I uh, picked up everything to set up a hydroponic garden to start some radishes and carrots. Yeah, and it's not even time yet. Um, but I just got to try it. So I'm, uh, I'm using uh, Permalite. And I've got two growing trays that are fairly deep um, and then one uh, real deep one for the tank. Uh, I've got all my plumbing, all the stuff is in here, uh, fittings, the whole works. And uh, my plan is to set that up right over here. I'll put my growing lamps in there and I'm going to grow radishes and carrots before the season even starts. I've never done anything like that before. So I'm going to learn. It's an experiment. Got to try it. And uh, pretty excited about it. So anyway, bear with me. I'll start building this uh, starting tomorrow. i got a busy day today. But another really big thing came in today. All right, guys. So this is one of those days where just things were, it was like Christmas today. Oh, my goodness. But uh, the big, big, big thing that came in, which I haven't got, got out of the truck yet because I need help, is dun -dun 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 -dun, my Harvest Right freeze dryer has come in. Only took two months to get it. Jeez. So anyway, it's here. It comes in two boxes. The actual uh, freeze dryer itself and then the uh, air pressure uh, vacuum. And some attachments and a lot of th extra things, trays and stuff, come in a, another box. So, uh, yeah, exciting. So, got to get that set up. So, we got hydroponics to build. We've got a freeze dryer to set up. And, of course, we will share with you our experience with that because it's a big investment. If people are wondering, uh, to get the wire, the wire, the oilless pump. I didn't want to mess with the other ones. You got to change your oil out and stuff. I didn't want to do that. So we got the the oilless pump. So yeah, it was over four thousand dollars. If you don't go with the oilless pump, you can stay under four thousand. So uh, you know it's it is what it is. But uh, this is going to change our canning, our food preserving big time uh, I have been buying a lot of ball jars of all sizes not to do canning so much as I'm doing vacuum packing because we're going to be drying a lot of stuff and I am still ready to set this up because we pretty much got our plans in place for the <laughs> hydroponics and uh, yeah so lots of things happening a lot of things still need to be done I need an electrician here really bad. And I'm going to go check on the chickens. Let's see how many eggs we got today. All right, so we watered the chickens and uh, gave them food. So let's check and see how many eggs we got today. So I got two there, one there, and uh, seven there. So I think I got ten. I think. So yeah. Remember, uh, we got the... These, this is a ceramic egg. That's a chicken. <laughs> Hello, girl. Can I have one of your eggs? Are you giving away eggs today? Can I uh, put this in here? There are lots of eggs. And we got to figure out which one's the ceramic egg. Can you tell which one this ceramic egg is? There it is, right there. Ceramic egg. That means. Well, it looks like I got 10 eggs today. Lots of chickens. Hi, chickens. And we'll go check the other side just in case. So, uh, compost bins are working like crazy. By the way, uh, now that we're getting into hydroponics more, 
This might change our plans on rabbits. Because rabbits, our biggest goal was to get their poop. And, uh, uh, we may not need that. Which is one less thing to take care of. If I still get the rabbits, I'll do them for breeding. But, uh, thinking out loud again. So anyway, guys, Harvest Right is really going to, well, it's like being able to make mountain house uh, freeze-dried food every week if you want to. Uh, we'll be able to store our eggs into powder form. Uh, that's big because we got tons of eggs and we're freezing most of it. And uh, the hydroponics, we were researching yesterday. It's like, can you grow carrots? And can you grow things like radishes? And the answer is yes. I uh, just got to use that permalite. I think I said that right. And uh, uh, a couple of tricky little things to do with it. But it was like, sounds like a challenge. And I've got, I don't know about you, but I got spring fever real fear. So I'm ready to start doing some kind of growing. Because we still got a month or two, I think March or April, before we can really get serious so let's play with hydroponics and see what we can do indoors in the green room back there so anyway that's <laughs> that's our exciting news lots of things now it's setup time trying to learn how to use this stuff and hopefully when we pass on the information to you we'll know what the hell we're talking about and uh my electrician like i said should be here this week I'm going to get a 30 amp plug put out here because I need power for these pumps. And uh, I'm hoping I can get up to 30 amps, so we'll see. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. Short video today. So much to do. i got a radio show to do tonight. Uh, please take the time to like, share, and just say hello in the comments. We'd appreciate it. But uh, yeah, share our videos all over the whole wide world. And... Uh, by the way, before I forget, these guys here, which have been way too heavy to move yet, we used to have them against the house if you watched the videos last year, uh, we might put hydroponic uh, raised gardens here on little Lazy Susan things, and uh, they'll look really pretty and be really cool. So anyway guys, talk to you later, have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.